Electric cars are great, but they are not going to solve our problems. Anthony here for DNews, and I love seeing all the progress we've made towards more efficient fuels and electric vehicles. And as they keep dropping in price and more and more people get them, we should see a huge environmental impact from them. But they're not going to solve the pollution problem alone. Far from it. A new study published in Atmospheric Environment says that vehicle exhaust is only responsible for a third of traffic pollution. Most of it actually comes from road surfaces wearing down, debris from car brakes, and particles from the road getting like whipped around into the air by the vehicles as they pass. There's a reason you have to get your brake shoes and pads replaced so often, as they rub against the moving parts of your car, friction wears them down, and little bits of them come off and go into the air in the road. And those little bits can be made of everything from steel to copper to plastic and even asbestos up until the late 90s. And particles of any of that stuff getting into the air is not great. Roads are interesting as well. I mentioned in my video about self-healing materials that concrete and asphalt production is responsible for 7% of the US's CO2 in one year. Once the pavement for a road is laid down though, it's also covered in a sealant. And most of those sealants contain VOCs, volatile organic compounds that can release into the air when they're installed. Concretes also contain natural radioactive elements like potassium, uranium, and thorium. And as concrete chips break down, those particles can be released into the air. And the more congested and slow moving traffic is in an area, the more all of these things contribute to air quality. Stop and go traffic means more wear and tear on cars and roads. And while this stuff is not as tightly regulated or talked about as much as vehicle emissions are, there's a lot of great work being done. See, brakes are being made of stronger and more environmentally friendly alloys. And there's a lot of work being done in environmentally friendly concretes and sealants. A couple years ago, scientists in the Netherlands created a self-cleaning concrete that absorbs particles and vehicle exhaust and converts them into nitrates. And when the rain washes the nitrates off the pavement, they actually help fertilize the surrounding environment. And we talked a bit about the invention of self-healing bioconcrete in a video the other day. So it's definitely something we need to focus more on though. The EPA says that we've reduced carbon monoxide by 51% between the years 2000 and 2010. We've also dropped nitrogen dioxide levels by 52% and particulate matter by 38%. And if we want to keep those numbers up, we're going to have to start advancing everywhere, not just in how we power our cars. What do you think is the next big thing we can do to stop emissions? I'm hoping we see more fuel efficient airliners soon, maybe some hybrid ones. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.